Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are checking out Frozen Flame, another game through the Steam Next Fest event that is currently going on. And with this one, it's essentially an RPG survival style game. Uh, it seems like you can play online, but I checked the servers and doesn't seem to be many people playing. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Um, so with that said, it looks like there's a few options that give you campaign, survival, and uh, coming soon. Uh, I'm going to try the campaign one and see how this goes. So if you enjoy the video, definitely leave a like on it and subscribe for more. If you do want to see some more of this game when it does release in uh, full access or early access or full 1.0, I guess we'll see. Asylum of Faceless. Okay. So it drops you right in. Attack enemies to fill power bar, jump to evade attacks, and hold to block and power attack. Okay. I should probably check the uh, video settings. It looks like, I mean, like, overall it looks okay, but I might have to check what uh, frames we're getting and all that. Looks a little bit uh, like it's dropping. Check graphics out. Oh, that probably explains it. We're on ultra. I mean, like, not that we shouldn't be able to, but Let's see if that helps. Yeah. Yep. Bumping down the high definitely did. There we go. All right, where are we going? Mithra the Keeper, there's no time to talk. Okay. You have to leave this place as soon as possible. I'll give you the ability to fly. Oh. Okay. So we can fly. Nice. All right, so we looks like we're creating character now. Damn, this dude is ripped. So how many, we got like six face options. Probably go with like default number one. Hairstyle. And yeah, there's nine different hairstyles. Wait, does it affect your beard too? It does. Okay. Got some good looking ones here. I didn't realize there's a ponytail on that. Uh, sure. Let's go with this hair color. Starts with like a nice light blue, I guess. Let's go with brown. Brown or black, whatever you want to call that. Eye color, let's change that to green. Good old green eyes. Skin color, I'll probably leave that as is. There we go, tiny bit of tan. Okay, cool. Customization, not too bad. All right, so we are in the mouse. Uh, sensitivity seems to be pretty low. Okay, and it's not hold to sprint, it's uh, tap to sprint, it seems like. I have freed you, freed you pilgrim. Now my strength is running out, go. Go away, the spirit of faceless is near. No! What did she drop? Seems that Mithra somehow Escaped? I missed that. Escape from Faceless. Ah, did she turn into the birds? Whoa. I don't know why, but this is like giving me like tripophobia. I don't know what it is with this stuff. What the heck? It looks like tiny holes, even though they're not even holes. Oh god. Okay, I'm just running away. No, no, thank you. Whew. Give me shivers.
Okay. Well, I will say the environment looks great. I mean, the the whole very cozy. Now, I wonder how like survival heavy this game is going to actually end up being. Is it going to be like something where you're constantly eating and drinking? Or is it going to be something that's kind of like, okay, like we have some light survival stuff and then you can also just kind of explore and um kind of go from there, I guess. We'll see. A lot of these games that I've been picking out, like I haven't really known about them or known anything about them and kind of just jumping in because like I see a lot of people have been playing them. So that kind of like what intrigued my interest. Now, if there was like a server that um that had a ton of people, I probably would have joined one. But I literally when I checked the server list and we're a little bit late on this one. Um, there was about one person in each server. So there wasn't a whole lot. We the pilgrims torn from the death's embrace by the magical flame of the keeper vowed to fight the cursed ones until our bodies crumble and our souls are extinguished. Okay. Game kind of gives me like uh, Dauntless vibes as well. Or at least environment. Let's check the map here. Do we have to discover it ourselves, or, or is that it? Maybe this is like the demo area. You will be shown the way. Okay, we got some stones here. Is this stuff we pick up too? Harvest. Ah, uh, this one you have to press and hold it. I see. Branches. Okay, well, let's see where we have to go. I wonder if they're going to end up adding any voice acting later on in the game or if it's just going to be text based. Be careful of those touched by the curse. Uh, hello. Oh. A little bit of not English, but. <laughs> Another pilgrim that made it out of the prison of the faceless. How does it feel? Still sane? Do you survive the cradle of keepers? Then don't go too far. It's dangerous. <laughs> I advise you start with an axe. There are plenty of branches and stones around. Then I think you'll figure it out. Don't flinch. The cradle of keepers is warm and nice as mother's belly. Not as a ice citadel, you know. Okay. Harvest this. That. What else do we got? Now, am I just continuing to go this way? Do we have a weapon? What's my right click do? It shows like in the bottom right, there's a fire like logo. So I'm wondering. I'm right clicking right now too and it's it doesn't seem to really be doing anything. Get a weapon before you proceed, the cursed one's already here. Uh tab. Craft. Stone axe. Bonfire. Alright, let's craft this stone axe then. Ooh. It's as simple as that. Stone axe achieved. And we continue forward. Forward. There was this one uh, survival game that I played not too long ago, that uh, Rune 2. I was really hyped for that game. I, like, because it re released or like released into 1.0 or something. Um, but unfortunately, the, the game looked so cool, and it did have, like, a, a large environment to explore. Um, and it had a lot of survivability to it, like, survivor features. But the game never really took off. Um, like, you, you literally chose uh, people to, to worship, like, Thor or Odin. Um, or I think Loki was one, too. And then from there, you got like some cool abilities, but 
Long time ago, there was a prosperous land. But like I said, it never really took off. Like, it kind of just stopped and nobody really ended up playing it. So I didn't dedicate too much time with it. Frozen Flame. So we have one. His ability is to use staff, ability to use swords, great swords and great axes, and ability to use bows. Okay. So we only have one and we need at least three. Interesting. Go ahead and harvest this. I, I gotta say, I've been enjoying, uh, I don't know how well all these videos are going to do, uh, playing the demos. Cause I think just the first one released today at the time of recording this, um, but it's been nice checking out some games that like haven't released yet. So that way, um, whether people are checking them out themselves or, uh, or just wanting to see gameplay of something. It's been fun myself checking out games that I normally probably wouldn't have played. And I always maintain the attitude too, where like, if one of these videos end up doing okay or doing well, and people are like, hey, I really want to see the game like when it, when it releases, like will you play it? Um, if enough people are asking for it, of course I will. You know, especially, well, at the end of the day, it has to be something that I'm interested in. Like if Ozark, uh, which is one of the game's releases, if that releases like within the next few months and I'm like, eh, I don't know, it might be worth waiting. But then again, if another game like uh, Big Ambitions, like if that releases and people are like, I really want to see that, I would absolutely love and I most likely will check that game out eventually on release anyways because uh it was a really cool game catch six fish there's one now do we just like full on like run over to them i guess so i can see this being uh on release like this being a fun cozy game too to play survival Uh, any others? Oh, is that a timer? Oh, it's a timer. Okay. I wonder what we get for completing it. I like games, uh, with this type of art style too. I feel like it's very, uh, very common these days, but I, I don't mind them personally. If we swim the other way. Okay, the current doesn't seem to be affecting us really. That's cool. I keep constantly holding uh, shift when you really don't have to. It's just a tab. I'm sure there's an option where you can change it to... Uh, uh, only when you press and hold it, though. Wait, the, that fish disappeared. What the heck? Oh, am I too tired? Let me try getting out. I do like the character model. I mean, the dude's ripped, but... I think the character model is pretty good. Uh, maybe out. you only have a few seconds, I think, to pick up the fish. Oh, no. We need one more. One more. That one. Yes. Activate it to complete the ritual. Okay. Now, what happens if I didn't know which, where this one went? Like, does it show up on my map that I picked it up? The ritual. Whoa. Okay. Now we have three. Cool. Oh, wait. That uh, right, at right attack was about to do something. 
Yeah, let's see if we can try it on this guy. Oh, no. Harvest. Cool. Oh, wait, now we have it. Ah, okay. So it builds up to that, and then once you get it, then you can... I see, I see now. Consume magic energy from the runestones nearby. There's one. Uh, Wait, how close are they? <laughs> how close are they supposed to be, actually? I don't know if I'm supposed to be, like, using a different... Is there, like, an axe or something separate that you use for, for those, I wonder? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's no way... We're not getting that complete... The ritual... Maybe there's one inside the uh, the ruins over here. Oh my god. Wait, what? Where's our health at? Um, okay. I missed wherever the health bar was. Maybe I should be going back to the icon. I'm kind of just like getting distracted or, or checking out the world. Uh, I guess there's nothing like bad with that uh here we go so this guy he has a question mark someone made a great axe good work good job wait did I drop everything no I didn't is this clothing Oh, that's what I'm wearing right now. Those are pants. Interesting. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to try to actually follow the uh, logo this time. We didn't drop our stuff that we had either, so that's good. Now, I don't see... Okay, so the health is in the top left. Uh, once we get to that tree again, I'll try upgrading one of those abilities that, um, that we saw earlier. I think I'm going to try out the bow. See how that is. It's the ability to use bows. Sky jump. Vented by a mage who wanted to jump really high. He didn't enjoy the landing. <laughs> I can see. Arcane trap. Haste, swiftness, dead silence. Nice. Okay, so there's a stealth or at least a crouch mechanic. I do see my health in the top left now. I don't know if I mentioned that already. A body showed up with arms and legs. Uh, something about idols. Wait, so are they giving me this stuff? Oh, yeah, they did. The other guy gave me something. Um, was it that? Oh, I think that's that might be XP. This must have been where the members of the Guardian Order once met up dragons. Oh. Uh. Fire's Mask of Furious Grunt. Mask of Smoldering Warlock. Mask of the Skull Hunter. Ah, that guy gave me this one. And then I guess once it's done, you like stand in here and you activate it. Usage will have no effect. There are no dragons left in Arcania. Arcana. 
Only mad beasts. Yeah, I did read the description uh, for this game a little bit. So uh, one thing I did notice is apparently this world or environment used to have dragons living everywhere. Um, now, I don't know if they're like friendly or hostile or whatever the, the backstory of them is, but apparently they used to be around everywhere and now they're not here. So I wonder if like part of this might be, oh God, what the hell? Do we have a stamina bar? Take, take. Let me see. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the one at the bottom. Use it for sprinting and for combat. Is this gonna be another one of those? The chest. Sacrifice fried meat. Requires fried meat. Uh, we need three of them. Can I just... Let's see craft i'm guessing we would have to make a bonfire and then like fry some meat over it we need branches some stone some more stone okay try opening this crafting this Put it right there. I don't know if you can like create your own home and all that or uh, access. Uh, that you can make it anybody open. How to cook. Add log to make the fire. Open bonfire to add ingredients. Got it. So we need to get a log then. Is there anything specific? Uh, cut down trees and weaken enemies. Okay. All right, so open. How do I put a log in here? Book. No fuel. Um... cookbook oh add logs okay press and hold you can add up to 10 collect fried meat okay there we go is this considered what's this if i cook both of these meat and fish skewer skewer Oh, it combines them. Fried fish. Okay, I see, I see. Now, can I stop the fire? Uh, I don't know if I need to. Access. Open. Okay, so we have one fried meat. We'll need two more. I don't know where I got the fried meat from, though. So one of those, like, bosses or the enemies? Uh, there's also a way over there. Let's try... This guy. Health is not doing the greatest. Oh, it was one of these guys. Ah, okay. And then when you're highlighted like that, I see. Since we're highlighted, now we can use that the right click ability. Ah. 
I understand now. I don't give myself some more health. Uh, I don't want to eat the... Okay, let's eat this one. Gives us some health regeneration. All right, let's try getting this guy. Fantastic. All right, there we go. We got enough for that. Let's go up here. Uh, well, first we need to head over to the bonfire. And while we're heading over there, I'm gonna get one more. So that way I can make one fried meat for myself. Nice. Okay, so over to the bonfire, uh, we will cook the food. After that, we'll find a way back up here to hand this in. And then I guess move on to the next one. I'm assuming each one of these is probably giving us a, uh, uh Oh, wait. Oh my God. You need to just cook one. You're joking. Oh my God. I need to get one more. If you combine two ingredients, then it makes a new recipe, including adding two of the same thing. That, no, that's a log. Is there inventory? Okay, there is a durability. Wait, there's a durability? That, I'm assuming that's weight. You can hold up to 450 pounds. Uh, here we go. Lunch right there. What are we walking? Oh, I'm too heavy. No? It doesn't say I was too heavy, but apparently I was. Gather some of that. We got some apples. Why, is there going to be one of those monsters somewhere? Huh. They'll actually fight each other. Now, I don't know how you unlock new recipes to, uh, to craft new items. Like, I, I have the ability to use bows now, but I haven't found any bows to use yet. Unless if maybe handing this in, like completing the ritual... Gives you a new one. Or maybe these guys drop like recipes. Can I add the two in that I already have in here? Nah, fried meat times three. Fried mushroom. Nope. Oh God. Okay. Don't stand in the fire. Stop dropping and roll. Roll, roll, roll. Uh, too heavy. Here, I don't know what to drop. Flint. If you eat a dish with these boiled berries, you will become tougher. Wait, so if I drop some of those, will boars come to me then? There's got to be at least one boar around here.
Come on, give me food. Or give me boars. I have to go over there, it looks like, and over there. Uh, are you friendly? Oh, you are friendly. What the heck? Oh, oh, sorry. Maybe he has... No, no food to trade. I keep picking up stones. Okay, that's a big pile of stones. Come on, I need one more boar. Maybe we'll have enough for this stuff right here. The temple. What do you require of me? Sacrifice three fabric. Uh, wooden crate workbench. Let me guess, we need to make a workbench to make fabric. Is that flint? Yep, it's flint. Oh no, it's broken. Oh no, I need uh, stone. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, there's some right here. Uh, of course now, that I dropped all my stone from earlier. <laughs> I need more stone. Oh, luckily it's only two pieces. Cool. Try to see if I can make a workbench. Craft. Uh, we need one more. Fantastic. Can only be placed in shelter. Wait, so I need to make a whole shelter place just to be able to craft it? Construction core? Is this considered like shelter then? How to build, enter build mode. Tool, repair, destroy. Ah, okay. Wait, so now can I put a workbench down? Directed by Sentinel Respawner C. Can only be placed in. <laughs> okay. I think this is considered my shelter, but it's because it's there's a respawn point right here. Oh no. I think I need to destroy this. Is there any, come on, one boar. I just want one boar. Or maybe one of these guys dropped like fabric. Oh, there's a loot all option. What is that? Oh no, it is fabric. Oh, they do drop fabric. So I don't need to make that. Drop this. I'm like trying to keep an eye on my health now because I'm afraid that it's going to drop if I don't keep watching it. 
it kind of drops abruptly, like without you realizing that it's low. Summer Turtle Beach. Or wait. Oh, am I back where? Oh, I'm back over here again. It's Summer Turtle Beetle, I think. Not Beach. Level five, we're gonna die soon. All right, let me eat one of the uh, berries. Guys, drop anything else? Let's see if any boar pop over here again. Take another look. Oh, I heard one. There's one. Okay, we just need to remember. Only one. Hook only one boar. Not two. Just one. Oh my god. You're joking, man. Uh, at least we're right Wait, where am I? I oh, know we are right here. Wait, where, where was the boar at? Um, did I go up there or was he down here? But I don't remember this structure. What the hell is that thing? Does this guy drop bows? Sorry, I'm getting like ultra distracted right now. I apologize. <laughs> okay, where did that boar actually go though? Is it up here? Uh... I know I came up here. Oh, maybe it was on that corner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. I think? Yep. No way. This thing's going to kill me again. It's going to kill me again. Oh, my God. My health is at, like, zero. See, there's no indication you would have no idea. That my health is as low. Look, you can't even see the bar. I'm at like 1% right now. Which, I mean, it's early access. So, like, I'm, I, or I mean, it's still a demo. So like, it's not, I'm sure they can add something in there that, like, pulses or is a little bit of a better indicator. Like, hey, you're about to die. But that's fine. That's fine. All right, we have enough now. But I just need to cook one. Once we cook one, then we can run over there and see what happens. My fire's still burning? It is. Somehow. What is so special? Uh, the flint really, like, uh, shines. Put one. Cook. Collect. Put one. Cook. Collect. I'm going to put a beetle in there. Sure, why not? Gross. Fruit pie. Fruit dessert. Two fish. Fresh pie. There we go. Okay. So you just kind of combine two things together and it makes it all right so now we should have i think we have four um let's try it
Ooh. And it turned purple, so I wonder... Oh god, enemy spawn? I'm stuck. Oh god, is there... Okay, there is a dodge. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, oh no. I need to eat something. Eat it. That's two. We got another fabric. Oh God, furious grunt. Oh no. Eat, eat, eat. Oh God. There's a stun bar. I feel like what we need most is like a new weapon. Um, you know what? Right here, I, I feel like this is a good spot because I don't want to go through all of these because uh, I'm sure it just gives you, uh, you could spend a lot more time going to each one of these, grabbing the items and then figuring out what that thing does in the center, which I'm sure would be cool. But there's some other things I need to do as well and a few other games I would like to check out. So for now, that's going to be the end of this. Uh, if, if you guys do want to see more Frozen Flame when the game releases, uh, just let me know and I'll see if, I, if we can check out some more. Or if you didn't like the video, um, you know, leave a like on the video because that really does help me out. Um, and finally, last thing, if you do like this game or you are interested in it yourself, go to the Steam page, go wishlist it because that does help developers out a whole lot. And it does make a difference. So there's that as well. For now, thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.